Kaiser, we have some news. Yes. We investigated the cause of the recent explosion in the southern Ave border. Our data showed a large amount of radiation was released at the epicenter. It was probably caused by an overload of battleship class slave generator. The cause of this is still unknown. The shockwaves from that explosion took out two thirds of the Ave and Gabler forces combined. Now, Ave is in the process of regrouping their reserve units, but that should take at least several days. Concerning your order, must have arrived at the area you requested. Found it, huh? Yes, sir. I see. We know the gear found was stolen from the 11th base by the Gabler unit in Ave. And in the investigation of the machine, we also called the unconscious pilot. The seized gear has been transported to the capital. From the circumstances, we believe information was leaked to Ave. How can you say that? All the gears except this were, were destroyed at La Han. Judging from the ID signal, this one wasn't with Ave, but was part of a pirate group. Pirates? You mean the young prince? Yes, sir. Huh. <laughs> We're now analyzing the combat data. However, we discovered some black boxes which are likely to delay the analysis. Black boxes? That gear wasn't made by us. The stock body was brought in by them. So that's it. Uh, Kaiser? What? Shouldn't we begin an assault on a vet? Are you trying to destroy Kislev? Huh? Indeed, it would be easy to take down a... But it would exhaust the resources also. But we can't afford to miss this chance. Even if we beat Shekhan, Solaris would only replace him with another puppet. What if we exhausted our resources and found ourselves under attack? Anyway, we must still be concerned with Nizan. There's nothing to gain by doing anything now. Excuse me! It seems they have arrived. Is that it? Yes, if you use that, you can pass through the barrier. You will be free to go where and when you please. Oh, that man. What was it? Graf? Is he around? He's rather... No, I was assigned to be his representative. I will ask you this once. Why do you help us? Who are you people? I've told you before. I simply wish to observe what is in store for the world. There are so many things you people must know. I'm merely your guide. I cannot directly assist you. How you use it is entirely up to you. So you're telling me you do not require any recompense? Let me see. Well then, how about this? Well, I must go. But what a strange thing to ask for. What did she say? They want me to transfer that gear we captured and this pilot to D-Block. D-Block? I wonder why. I don't know either. But we still owe them a favor. We can't just deny them. So see you to it. Yes, sir. Huh, 
Where am I? You shouldn't be here. Where am I? Good, you've finally woken up. You have been unconscious for your four days, so I had begun to fear the worst. Who are you? And where am I? How did I get here? Ah, uh, ugh. You've only just gained consciousness, so don't push yourself too much. I'm a doctor. You're in Norton, the ca Imperial capital of Kislev. This is the detention area for criminals, commonly known as D-Block. Detention for criminals? You're now in the living quarters for prisoners in D-Block. Judging by the way you were brought here under the heavy guard of the Kislev army, you're no ordinary criminal. Huh? Oh look, what good timing. Prince Charming has woke up. This might be sudden, but you have to come along with us. Not the baptismal ceremony. This patient has just, only just awoke. It's unthinkable that you would try and suddenly carry out your baptismal ceremony on him. Come off it, just a sec. That guy's been thrown in an eerie crime, ain't it? You should be thanking us for having the kind and compassionate heart to let him rest up a few days. Yeah, that's right. As long as he come here as a crim, he's gotta follow the rules. That's the way it is. So without further ado, we'll borrow him for a little while. Don't worry, we will return him to you straight away. Once we're through with him, that is. You don't have a choice in this. If you oppose us, the fear doctor will copy too. Okay. I'll do what you want. I'm so sorry. I can't go against the battlers. Please forgive me. Oh, what a sensible lad. This saves us a bit of trouble. Anyway, come along now. The champ is waiting. But don't worry. We'll let you return here soon. Hurry up then. Forward march! Champ, we brought him to you. A man called Champ. Thanks for... Oh, sorry. I read that. I was sorry about that. A man called Champ is just the title. The name of this guy. Uh, I'm an idiot. Anyway, back in the part. Thanks, Suzard. Hmm. So you're the new innate. We don't know or care what you did to get put in here. But welcome to the block. So what name do you go by? I'm Fei Fong Wong. And what's your name? I know it's not really champ, at least they have the right to know that much. Why you, how insolent! Calm down, Cesar, and I don't mind. The name is Rico. 
kid. It's good to have guts, if it's the real thing. We know it's a bit sudden, but we need to see how strong you really are. Erich. Vargas. Leonardo. Suzorn. Let's begin his baptism. Take him outside. Kid, you're up front. No, I think you got the idea, but I'll tell you anyway. Sorry about that. All the criminals sent here are each given a rank. The sitting, deciding what rank you are is easy. You get your rank by fighting these four battlers. Relax, the fights are one-on-one. -on -one. By now you should have realized results are everything. If you can't defeat these four battlers, you'll be promised a certain amount of freedom. Then. Let the fights begin. That's what I like to say, but even we have some compassion. We'll give you some time. Even though it's on one, you still have to fight all four. You should get prepared for the battle. And one more thing. Don't even think about trying to get away from here. After all, that's an impossibility. Very well, welcome back to Let's Play Xenogears! Last time, we blew up the Invincible Armada, whatever that was. And, well, things didn't go as planned. Not all of them, at least. And now we ended up in Norton and we are a prisoner now. We're in jail. So the first thing you want to do, I want to go over to this memory block. Open up the menu. And equip for battle, as we have to battle four of these guys. And there's no, like, rest in between, I think. So, Iron Mail, do we have anything else that's better than that? You wanna wear your better equipment here? Leather hat, do we have anything else? Not really. Stamina ring, defense value, I think I'm okay with that. I don't really have anything else. I'm full of stores, so I'm just gonna save um, just in case something goes horribly wrong. And yeah, by the way, even if you lose these battles, nothing really matters. The zone only you, you still keep playing the game, you don't have to win them all. And that's one thing. Uh, Desert Despair, this is the save right before the beginning of the episode. Someone's gonna go for Dazel. Of course, the more you win, the better, so we're gonna try to win them all. It's not that hard to win them all, actually, so... Let's see what kind of abilities we can count off. Guided Shot, Inner Healing, Iron Veiler, and... Just a quick check, because it's a while I don't record, let me see here. We have all way, but we're just gonna spam again, because these are pretty good boss fights, this is what we're gonna do. Anyway, we're ready. Okay, are you ready? Let's rock! Temp, he's ready for his baptismal ceremony. <laughs> then let it begin. Your first opponent will be Leonardo. They do appear as monsters for some reason, but... Well, it's not a problem for me. We have six APs. Hmm. That's something new. I guess we'll just go for it again. These fights are pretty much uh, the same. They're just, they're just gonna fight some of these uh, monsters. Like, this is a spellet swap of what we found in the forest. It's just a tad bit stronger, a lot more HP, but it's really not that threatening. We're just gonna spam another again here. Do not use buffs because they do not carry on the other battle. Only here you need to, but apart from that, it should be pretty easy. Another attack, okay, you get that. Another attack in, I don't care. 10 damage. Here you go. And it's done. First battle won. Easy as that. To have lost to someone who's just recovered. Sadness. <laughs> How's the next one? Okay, this guy... Well, let's just do another again. There isn't really a strategy on these guys, except for one. I don't know if it, this is the one. Let me see. Need, we need to know the name. No, it's name, Rich. Eris is just another palette swap. Same as the previous guy. Maybe a little bit more HP. A couple more statistics, but that's it. Do me three again to kill that other guy before. 
so let's see. If I kill it this turn, yeah, it's doing a little bit more damage. If I kill it this turn, it's okay. If I don't, I'm just gonna throw a healing move. Just in case. He's still alive, so I'm just gonna waste that waste. Well, not really waste the turn. To heal up a little bit. Uh, go on inner healing. Let's see, 80, not bad. Yeah, we're full restored. Do your 14 damage, okay. So at least now we should probably kill it, because, you know, took three hits to the previous guy, so this is highly possible that we'll take four, four hits, one more. 169, and he's dead, in fact. Well, not dead, he's knocked out. You know, we don't really kill it. Hmm, entertaining. How's the next one? Number three is a little bit different. I think. I have my note says that this guy is Vargas. And you don't have to use Death Blow. This guy counters Death Blows. So we're just gonna have a basic physical all the time. Apparently he counters everything though. Oh, probably he counters Death Blow with a more powerful move, so that's why you don't want to use it. So we're just gonna do that. Yeah, he counters. He, ca yeah, he counters everything. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that if you use a Death Blow, he's gonna use a more powerful attack. So we're just gonna do that. Build up some AP. Maybe with just one more time. He does squat damage, as you can see. Okay, think 20 AP, it's enough. That will be the final battle, so we need to go there a little bit prepared. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna do another one, then I'm gonna heal and I'm gonna release all those APs on him. Alright, you do that. Yeah, let's heal. Let's do another inner healing. There we go. Alright, three damage. It's time for use the combo. For probably our last time in the last play, because this is command as I told you is useless, except in this fight and the one in the arena way back when in Bladivik. Alright, let's do one, two, three, four. We have another one. Well, let's do a raisin in the final one. Let's keep one AP, whatever. Let's do it. Because at the end of the day, really, the combo damage that you get, you get the same deal. You get the same amount of damage by doing a death blow every turn, and probably even more. It's not real. The, the combo command is just for fun. Mostly. Huh! I'll get you for this someday! Not bad. No one's ever defeated- no one's defeated Vargas since Suzer. Now for the last one. You think you can win? This one is a lot different from the others. Let's see, hope we can get a turn immediately. Nice. This is Suzorn, as you can see. Uh, this looks pretty scary. And it is, but it's just scary. It's not hard. All right. First of all, we're gonna start with Iron Valor immediately. Buff your attack up. I mean, buff your attack. All right, let's see what she does. She has several different attacks. That's what she does first. Okay, she drains our AP. Now we have zero AP. Do not bother healing, she will redo that, and you're stuck in an infinite loop, and you just waste items. Now you just want to attack. 45 with a triangle, wow. Not bad. Alright, see what she does. This one. 109. But look at our HP. We have 109. We didn't survive for luck. She does exactly... Half of your HP in damage. So yeah, it looks scary. It looks like she's doing a lot of damage, but actually she's just halving your HP. She does have another attack. Yeah, this one. It's still halving your HP. Look at that. She's halving the HP. There's no need for healing here. No need at all. She has another attack, which she can do up to three points of damage. And that's when you have to worry about... Look at this. Is another halving? No, there we go. See? This thing. But she can only do one damage per hit, and the maximum combo that she can do is three. So as long as you have, like, two digits HP, you'll be fine. Of course, if you drop all that, you 
and go very low and close to zero, then you're gonna heal, but seriously, there's no need to heal. There you go, I beat her. Just like that. And we got a metal jacket. Lag for a bit there. R ridiculous. Even I lost to you. We defeated all four. <laughs> this is an unexpected outcome. Let me give you the special treatment. I, myself, will be your final opponent. Enough! There's no purpose in doing this. I have nothing to do with you. No need for a reason. This is the D-block tradition. We must determine the pecking order. Get ready. Is that all you can do? What? You don't want to fight? What's wrong? If you don't resist, I'll end up breaking your neck. No! Hmm? What's that? I can't hear you. No! I won't fight! Well then, this is the end. Out of the way! What? I... I... <laughs> That's more like it. You're quite good. You're the first one to ever injure me. Now I don't have to hold back. I'm looking forward to this. The reason why I told you the previous battle was the last battle is because this fight is unwinnable. Whatever you do, don't worry. It's gonna smash the lights out of the daylight out of you. So I will take this opportunity to train our death blows. Why not? I mean, right? The next death blow we need to learn. So how about we train a little bit? He's gonna buff himself a little bit with still body, which in changes defense. Like we do one damage, and it doesn't really care. It doesn't really matter. I mean, <laughs> one, two, three, four. Let's get some experience down our belt with that death blow. We'll need to learn it sooner or later. Still fist, ups attack. There we go. Keep doing this. Throw in a triangle and a square just for fun. Oh, still our turn. More experience. Thank you so much. We'll do that. Just to mix it up. And yep, we're dead. We're down. A bit tough. Well, a win is a win. Your rank is A. Didn't you hear? Take him back to his quarters. And don't forget one thing. I this time you're in the same place just in a different room you had a rough day huh ah uh, oh it's you it looks like I needed your assistance again huh yes but don't worry I don't mind it's my job anyway how do you feel uh, uh, I'm in a bit of pain but nothing I can cope with lately I've been getting used to this kind of thing uh, the last thing I remember was those guys speaking of rank I'm worthy of oh I think I better tell you about that what? You know what rank I am? You're quite strong, aren't you? To defeat four people in your condition, it's no wonder they give you rank A. But to go up against the champ? It's amazing that you came back alive at all. That fight was meaningless. I had no reason to. I didn't want to fight. What happened? You look a bit pale. It's nothing, don't worry. By the way, what's this thing around my neck? Oh, that? It's a bomb. The moment you leave the vicinity of the Imperial capital, that color goes boom. Too bad, but while you have this on, you will never be able to escape from Norton. Apart from the civilians of D-Block and a select few battlers, everybody has to wear them. Here in D-Block, there's the only chain that binds the prisoners. Huh? A bomb. 
So no matter how much I struggle, I'll never escape from here. Anyway, you should try and get some rest today. You'll have to get used to living in this town soon too. I guess we don't really have any other choices, do we? Well, anyway, next time, huh? Xenoblade. Or Xenoblade, actually. We will. Explore this place. Let's see, what's what? Because we're new here. Better find out about, you know, the rules in this place. We know a little bit about the dismal ceremony and whatnot that happened back there, but we'll find out more. See you guys then.